What's up family? This week I sparked an interesting debate. If you follow my Instagram, go to Backstage with Tinker on Instagram. I sparked a debate this week in regards to weights of items. So I put it out there where I wanted you to weigh in on whether you thought SES was better or you thought HIC was better. And there were people on both sides. Now, now personally, I'm an SES guy. So what I decided we would do is we would weigh out the weights of SES clamps and I wanted to weigh out um, IHC, or I'm sorry, HIC, but unfortunately, here at my home park, SOC Jericho here in Daytona Beach, we don't have any HIC in stock right now, so obviously it must be pretty popular. However, we're gonna get some in, we're gonna weigh that, but today we're gonna compare the difference between SCS and IHC. All right, so here's what I got for us today. These are actually my favorite forks. These are the Ethic Marrow V2s. I love these forks. Um, I'm not really sure what, I what it is I love about them. They're super light, they're super durable. I sold a ton of them and I really like the forks. And I've never had a kid bring these forks back to the park and say, hey, these things are, are screwed up. So these are my one of my favorite forks. This is actually what I run on my scooter. Now granted, it's not fair for me to talk about what's on my scooter because I don't ride like most of these guys ride. However, this is an awesome fork. If you're in the market for a fork, I highly recommend the Ethic Marrow V2s. I've also got some Fusion Sabre forks. These are IHC Sabre forks and they're pretty rad. I like these. I have got the Envy SOB V3 IHC forks here in oil slick. These are super rad. I really like these super durable forks and I'm anxious to see how these weigh out against the others as well. And then lastly, I've got the forks that actually come on the Prodigy scooters. I think this is called a CNC fork. And this is the new design fork. This is from last year's model, actually, because you can see the oil splatter or the paint splatter, which is pretty cool. I really like those. Again, an IHC fork. Um, this one feels quite a bit heavier, so we'll actually get an idea on how much that weighs here in just a minute. The clamps I've got is, I have the Tilt SCS Classic clamp. This is a super rad clamp. This is actually, again, on my scooter. Doesn't count, but this is what I ride, super rad clamp. And then some of you guys like the Tilt Arc SCS clamp. This is the Classic Arc because it has the shim in there. They make, um, they make a different version of the Arc. Let me see if I can get that out. They make a different version of the arc that you can actually run with standard size bars and it doesn't have the shim in it for oversize. I got it too tight so I can't pull it out, but this is a rad clamp. I'm curious to see what the weight difference between this clamp and the classic clamp is. Then I've got the Youth Gone Wild SCS clamp. This thing is a beast. It actually feels pretty heavy and meaty in my hand, but it's a super rad clamp. I like it a lot. Now, if you're running IHC or you're running HIC, you're probably running a double clamp, and that's what comes on most of the scooters, the completes, that come with uh, oversized bars and IHC or HIC. And so I've got the Tilt double clamp that we're gonna check out. I've got the Tilt Arc double clamp that we'll check out. And then I've got the Envy two bolt clamp, which is a pretty rad clamp. This one has a shim in there too. So if you wanted to run standard size bars, you could do that. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna weigh out these forks. Now we're gonna start with the Ethic Marrows. And I'm gonna pop these on, I'm gonna pop these on the scale. Let's see what they weigh. All right, so these are coming in at 10.3 ounces. That's, that's pretty light. Um, again, this is one of my favorite forks. So 10.3 ounces. All right, now we're gonna move on to the Fusion Saber fork, IHC. All right, so this one's rocking in at 11.6 ounces. Now we've got the SOB V3 IHC forks. We're gonna weigh these. Wow, that's 12.4. That's actually kind of surprising. I was expecting the Sabre forks to be a little bit heavier than the Envy's, but 12.4. And last, we got the Prodigy CNC fork. We're gonna try this one out. And that one is 12.8 ounces. So obviously this is the heaviest one. Now most of you guys that are running modified scooters, like if you're updating your parts and stuff, you're probably not buying this fork. 
However, if you're looking for a reasonably priced fork, um, if you need, if, let's say you break your fork or something on your Prodigy, this doesn't just run on Envy scooters, obviously, but I would highly recommend this fork. It's a great economical fork. Um, it is heavier, so if you're a weight weenie like a lot of the guys that were whining about the, the HIC versus SCS, you definitely don't want this one. So, heaviest fork is the Prodigy uh, CNC fork, and the lightest fork is the Ethic Marrow V2s. Super rad. So, this is a great fork. I think these run about 100 bucks. That's what we sell them for here at Jericho. These, I think, run, let's see. $74, man. So if you're looking for a quality fork at a decent price and you're not so worried about the weight, this is a solid fork. The um, the Marrows run about $100. This, this is definitely, by far, in my opinion, this is one of the best forks that you could buy. Now we're going to move on to checking SCS clamps. Now this is the Tilt Classic SCS clamp. This is one of my favorites. I really like this one. We're going to check the weight on this bad boy. All right, so that one's weighing in at 8.1 ounces. Now, the second clamp we're gonna weigh out is the Tilt Arc SES clamp. Now, this one is touted as being a bit lighter. Obviously, it's got the cutouts in it, which would probably make it a little bit lighter. But let's see what the difference is. Okay, so that weighs in at eight ounces even. So the difference between these two, two clamps is one-tenth of an ounce. I'm not sure that anybody could tell the difference in a tenth of an ounce. Matter of fact, let me let me try something here. I'm gonna sh I'm gonna shift my scale to grams. All right, so I'm gonna weigh this clamp in grams. Okay, in grams, that is 228 grams for the art. And 232 for 232 for the classic SES. I'm gonna put a nickel on there so you can see. So a nickel weighs four grams. And so what we're saying here is the difference in weight between the classic and the arc is a nickel. I'm not sure anybody can really tell that. Now granted, maybe if you're a pro rider, maybe you can really tell it, but I highly doubt it. So, you know, I think it really comes down to style. Is there a weight difference here? Yeah, there's a little bit of a weight difference, but we're talking a tenth of an ounce. Okay, so the Classic SES weighed 8.1 ounces. Now we're gonna test the Youth Gone Wild SES clamp. Let's see how much that one weighs. Wow, that one it comes in at 9.6 ounces. So this one is definitely significantly heavier. And if I look at it, you know, if you look at kind of the size of the clamp, look at how much metal there is in the clamp itself. There's a significant difference there. I'm sure that's where some of that weight's coming from. Also, you'll notice there's a, there's a bit of a height difference between the two clamps as well. So I'm sure that plays into it too. So if you're looking for the lightest SCS clamp, this tilt, this tilt arc clamp is definitely the lightest of the ones that we've tested today. Perhaps there's lighter ones. If you're a manufacturer and uh, and you're making a super light SES clamp, send that to me. You can send that to SFC Jericho Skate Park, care of Dave Tinker, and I will definitely do a vlog on that and weigh that out and see how it weighs out against my favorite, again, which is the the Tilt Classic SES. All right, so lastly, we're gonna check double clamps. I've got a Tilt Classic double clamp, a Tilt Arc double clamp, and I've got the Envy double clamp here as well. So let's check the weights on these dudes. We're gonna start with the Classic Tilt. All right, so that one comes in at 3.7 ounces. Now we will move on to the, the Arc double clamp. Three point six, but it must be teetering right on the edge of three point seven because it, it flipped over for a minute. So, is it lighter? Yes, again by a tenth of an ounce. All right, so now we're going to try the NV double clamp. That one comes in at three ounces, so this one is significantly less weight than the tilt clamp. Now. There's some obvious differences here, right? If you look at the height difference, the Envy clamp is much smaller than the tilt clamp. Um, 
maybe from a thickness perspective, they're probably about the same. The tilt actually looks like it might be a little bit thicker, especially in different places. But I can tell you from experience with these Envy clamps, this is a solid clamp. So if you're looking for a great lightweight double clamp, this Envy clamp is a definitely a go-to. I would highly recommend it. Holds up really, really well. With the, um, the tilt double clamp, this is a solid clamp too. So if you're looking for something with just a little bit more weight in the front end on your IHC or HIC setup, I would definitely recommend checking out this tilt double clamp. So kind of recap, if we're talking about lightest components, possible lightest components, you want in? All right, so we're kind of going back to forks. We've got the Ethic Mero V2, the super solid forks, definitely the lightest fork that we tested today. And then if you're looking for super lightest clamps out of what we tested today, we got the Envy double clamp. This is the lightest double clamp that we've got here in the shop. So for, again, for you weight weenies, if that's what you're really looking for, man, I highly recommend, even if you're not a weight weenie, I recommend these Ethic Forks. And the double clamp is a super solid replacement clamp as well. If you want to upgrade or whatever, this is a super solid clamp. As soon as I get some HIC stuff in, we will do a check on those parts as well, because I really want to weigh out the weight difference, because that's what I was seeing the most, as everybody was saying, HIC is so much lighter than SCS. I'm not sure I completely buy that yet. So when I get some HIC stuff in, we're gonna weigh that stuff out and do a full on comparison, let you guys know what that weight difference really is. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I love you guys, God bless, bye.